Baja Trip Day 6, 7, and 8, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it! Day six was memorable because of how unique the spots were we found that day. You see, we started the day off by going back to the salt flats that we had visited the day before. Oh my God, just look at this view. This time though, the entire place was flooded with water and you won't believe what we found. I mean, come on, dude. A little lake out in the middle of all that salt. How could we have gotten lucky enough to find a place like this? This is paradise. Dun, 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 dun. Afterward, though, we headed back on the road to complete the second longest drive of our trip, which was from Guerrero Negro to Valle de los Gigantes. They call this place the Valley of Giants because the cactus here are huge. And although I've never cared to see a whole bunch of cactus out in the middle of the desert, this was a sight to behold. And the sunset there was unreal. Once it got dark, we set up camp at a nearby beach. All right, we got the car, the tent, the fire, and the beach view. Look at that. Perfect place to camp. Next morning, woke up to a beautiful view of the beach. Damn. And that right there is where the story of day seven begins. Check it out guys, this is the view we woke up to this morning. Beautiful, check out what we got here in the back as well. Beautiful once again. But I'm sad guys, today's our last full day here in Mexico. Our trip is coming to an end and I can't think about it too much because I'm honestly gonna get a little sad about it. Girls, I haven't hung out with you like this since we were kids. I know. I miss this kind of stuff. Apparently we're lost now. Even the girls don't know what to expect from themselves. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. We have absolutely no idea what we're doing. This entrance is clearly fenced off. And my cousin's like, no, we got this. I think we can clear the rope. Let's see. You look good. <laughs> you bet one day you're gonna get us killed, you know that? Ain't no fence high enough. You know, it runs in our blood, guys. We're Mexican. When we see a border, we just naturally have to jump over. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, look at this beach. Oh my god. Definitely worth the hour it took to get here. This is beautiful. Right now, when I was taking a look before I set up the camera, I found something crazy. I gotta show you guys. Oh, there it is. Look what I found. I was literally splashing my hands around the water to feel it. Right when I looked up, I saw this guy super close to me. Dude, isn't that crazy? I don't think I've ever seen a jellyfish in the water like that ever. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I can't tell if that makes me more excited to get in this water because I'm sure there's gonna be more life or more scared to get in this water because I'm sure there's gonna be more jellyfish. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This is my kind of sunscreen. Look at this stuff. It's so thick and... Tasty. That's what I need. I'm getting shades lighter with this thing. Oh, damn it, you guys. I'm out of sunscreen. Now I'm going to burn. <laughs> All right. We've only got about 30 minutes here before we have to leave. So I'm going to make the most of those 30 minutes. Try to get some snorkeling in. All right. Tide's coming in. So the visibility is going to be minimal, but we're going to enjoy it while we can. Oh, my God. Look what I just stepped on or almost stepped on. What's that? Get away from me. It's the jellyfish. Wow, 
out, you guys. I'm trying to take this all in, especially now that it's coming to an end, but there hasn't been a single day where we haven't seen a beautiful view on this trip. Wow. Where do you find these places? Uh, I don't know, I just drive around. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it, literally, this whole trip she's like, uh, I think there's a beach that way. And then we end up somewhere this beautiful. Alright, we're back on the road, headed north finally. We got four hours to get to our next destination. Let's go. In perfect timing too. The sun is literally setting as we speak. And oh my god, dude. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm a sucker for a good sunset. Wow. There goes the last little bit of sun. And it's gone. You know, growing up in California, I heard nothing but bad things about this place. And I don't understand how is all this beauty overlooked by the negative? Look at this. This is incredible. Maybe I haven't seen enough of it yet, but damn. So far, I'm loving it. The girls are currently trying to get into the Airbnb. We were having some trouble, but let's go see if they figured all that out. Okay, well our car was parked right there, and the girls are nowhere to be found now. They left me, I think we entered through here, but I don't know if I'm allowed to just walk through. Hey, there you are. You left me. Thank God this car came through. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. You just ran after I got Yeah, for real. <laughs> You're supposed to, like, register. It's getting dark, and I've heard you're not supposed to stay out alone at dark here. Nah, I mean, there's a good area. Yeah. See, that's what I figured. So far, it looks beautiful. Just showered, freshened up a little bit. Team and I are gonna go out to eat and then maybe potentially go out for some drinks. Either way, I don't wanna bring the big camera with me, so I'm taking my phone with me. Ladies, you ready or what? Two minutes. Two minutes, okay, I got like 20 more then. Sounds good. Oh damn, we're going clubbing. You don't go out to eat in an outfit like that. That's pointless. That's pointless. Hey. Um, we're running late. It was a great time though. We had a ball, had a blast, but I'm feeling the effects today. Oh. All right, we gotta cross the border today. I'm not feeling so good, but we gotta pretend like we're feeling great. Eight hours line, yeah. <laughs> Eight hour line, dude. Oh, we're screwed, screwed, but last night had a ball. Dude, that was the greatest way could have ended the trip, ended up on stage somehow, went swimming, rode the pool, did everything I could at that freaking club because no one else was doing it. So you know your boy had to. Yeah. But uh, let's see if we get past the war today. Ugh. I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking. I feel so disgusting. <laughs> ah! Wait, yeah. wait, wait, Yvette, say that again. What happened? I didn't see that the dog was thrown up and I wanted to get you out of the car. <laughs> at night it was fresh, man. <laughs> at night it was fresh. Oh, <laughs> I did not realize I did this. Wait, who sat in the back last night? You. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Vet, but that's okay. We're getting the car washed today. This is all Oscar's fault. I know it was. They wanted to if just go you eat. No Oscar. Uh, <laughs> Wait, first, but I can't even give you no warning signs, dude. I didn't see what I was coming. I knew I was scared for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> you got dressed up fancy. If you wouldn't have dressed up fancy, we would have just gone to dinner last night. And then I saw the outfits, I was like, oh, it is what it is, we're clubbing. Hey, 
Made it to the border. Um, remember in the first video of this trip that I said I lost my green card? Yeah. We'll see how getting through goes without that. <laughs> it's usual. You know what we need to do now? We need to lose something important to make it a complete trip. Oh, we've been doing that. <laughs> Actually, that's true. I she almost, you on that one. <laughs> she almost lost her passport, and I came here without a green card. Was that it? Did we make it? It was that easy? Guys, it was that easy? Dude, you're not prepared. I'm going to start flying to TJ. I know. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. They didn't even ask I me. Know. I thought I was going to get it. was like, visa, good, okay. Yeah, I they brought out everything. for kimchi thing. Dude, I brought out everything and they didn't even care. They were just like, all right, cool. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I was a little nervous, but we got by without any problems whatsoever. They just let us ride in, dude. That was the easiest border cross I have ever had, ever. ever dude, I like, know, easy. No, no one there. No, yeah. Let's hope and pray they let me through without any problems. <laughs> no line. Nobody really even cared. They were just like, oh yeah, go through, go through. Yeah, just make sure your bags are good. And considering last time they made like a two to three hour process, I was so nervous that was gonna happen again, but nothing. They were just like, oh yeah, go through, buddy. See ya, welcome home. <laughs> Guys, we did it, but I'm so sad. Our trip is coming to an end. It was fun, it was great. We had a lot of amazing times, made amazing memories, but this is it. Bring it in, ladies. Oh, what a great troop we are. I know. <laughs> yeah, we're good travelers. Yeah. Knuckles, we did it. We just need to fuck lighter, right? <laughs> <laughs> For real. Let me hang it. Oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>